Let me show you this question. They said identify the interval of convergence for the power series shown below. It's sigma from n equal 1 to infinity for minus 1 to the power n multiplied by n plus 2 over n times 3 to the power n into x minus 4 to the power n. Oh my god, look at this question. Now, to find the interval of convergence for the given power series, this is a power series by the way, we can apply the ratio tests. Do you remember it? Let's denote the general term of the series as a n. Let's write a n is equal to minus 1 to the power n into n plus 2 over n multiplied by 3 to the power n into x minus 4 to the power n. Now, we need to compute the ratio of consecutive terms. We need to compute the ratio of a n plus 1 over a n and we have to find the limit as n approaches to infinity. How do you do that? Let me show you. Now we write limit as n approaches to infinity for absolute a n plus 1 over a n which is equal to limit as n approaches to infinity for the absolute. Now a n plus 1 would be represented by minus 1 to the power n plus 1 multiplied by n plus 2, but n now is n plus 1, which means that it becomes n plus 3 over n is now n plus 1, 3 to the power n is now 3 to the power n plus 1, and all multiplied by x minus 4 to the power n plus 1, all over a n, which is the same term here, which is minus 1 to the power n, multiplied by n plus 2 over n, multiplied by 3 to the power n, all multiplied by x minus 4 to the power n. All of them in absolute value. Now we have to simplify. How to simplify it? Let me show you how. Is it going to be equal? Limit as n approaches to infinity for absolute value. Now we have the big fraction here. Now minus 1 to the power n plus 1. And we have here minus 1 to the power n. So you're left by minus 1 to the power of 1. And since it is inside absolute value, so ignore it because it doesn't make any changes. Now, first let's simplify x minus 4 to the power n plus 1 over x minus 4 to the power n. So if you divide them, you will get x minus 4 to the power 1. So here you're left by x minus 4 to the power 1. Why? Because you can split x minus 4 to the power n plus 1 to be to the power n times x minus 4 to the power 1 x minus 4 to the power n cancel with x minus 4 to the power n. Now, here we have fraction over fraction. You remember, let me show you, when we have 2 over 3 divided by 3, let's say over 4. So you can write it 2 over 3 multiplied by and flip the fraction which is in the denominator, 3 over 4, it becomes 4 over 3. So which means that we have to multiply 2 by 4 and we multiply 3 by 3 which means that we have to multiply here n plus 3 multiplied by n multiplied by 3 to the power n over n plus 1 multiplied by n plus 2 multiplied by 3 to the power n plus 1. Can we simplify more? Yes, we can. Let me show you. It's going to be equal limit as n approaches to infinity. Now, x minus 4, we can take it outside with an absolute value, x minus 4. And let's simplify the others. You have n plus 3 multiplied by n multiplied by, let's say 3 to the power n, let's leave it now. I'll show you how to simplify it with 3 to the power n plus 1. Here we have n plus 1 multiplied by n plus 2 multiplied by 3 to the power n times 3, which is 3 to the power n plus 1. Now, 3 to the power n and 3 to the power n cancel, and we can take 3 outside the absolute value. We put it with x minus 4. So it's going to be equal limit as n approaches to infinity for x minus 4 over 3 multiplied by the absolute value n into n plus 3 over n plus 1 multiplied by n plus 2. Now here x minus 4 over 3 it has nothing to work with the n. So we can write absolute x minus 4 over 3 times limit as n approaches to infinity for, let's simplify the upper part, which is n into n plus 3, which is n squared plus 3n over, and here if you expand n plus 1 times n plus 2, 
it gives you n squared plus 3n plus 2. You can try it. And you know that. Limit as n approaches infinity for n squared plus 3n over n squared plus 3n plus 2 is going to be equal to 1. Why? Because the coefficient of the biggest power, of the highest power term n squared is 1. And here, the coefficient here is 1. So it's going to be equal to 1 over 1, which is 1. So we can ignore all of this expression. Limit as n approaches infinity for the absolute value is going to be equal to 1. So you'll be left by x minus 4 over 3 all in absolute value. Now, for the series to convert, this limit must be less than 1. What we can write here, absolute x minus 4 over 3 should be smaller than 1, which leads to the absolute x minus 4 smaller than multiply 3 by 1, which is 3. And this implies that x minus 4 is between negative 3 and 3. Now adding 4 here, adding 4 here, adding 4 here, it becomes x is between 1 and 7. And therefore, the interval of convergence for the given power series is between 1 and 7. And that is the final answer. Does it make sense for you? Great. Now, if you need more 1400 plus questions, keep following me and don't forget to like and share. And welcome to Math for Fun. And bye for now.